A forward for the Brisbane Broncos, second row forward. He's only 23, um, but playing for the Māori All-Stars against the Indigenous All-Stars. And we welcome him warmly onto the show. Jordan, thanks so much for your time, mate. Thank you. Hard out training today? Yeah, you know, it was pretty full on. Um, not, not uh, you know, a, a long period of time, but it was just a short, quick hit out and uh, us boys kept going for our moves and um, a bit of a hucker as well, so yeah. What does it mean to you, mate? What does it mean to you as a Māori man playing for this team? Oh, it's everything, eh? I, I sort of one of those things I always get asked where you sort of can't really explain it uh, unless you sort of indulged in it and the camp. And um, it's just a very emotional time for for me and, and the Bull family as well. And um, it's just it's just a, a sort of a dream come true um, being able to represent my culture at such a big level. So, yeah. <laughs> I, you know, this is where I always say to KT, Carl, uh, Tanana, when it comes to these games, the Māori All Blacks and that, you know, can I sort of jump on the band? Can I jump on the train for a day? It just, you know, I just, you, 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 you're touching something. You're going back to something, aren't you? You've got roots, you've got history, you've got things going, you've got generations going on. Does it evoke all of that for you? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, you've got every, everything going on around you, um, sometimes all at once and sometimes and be a bit, uh, a little bit too much um, to, to take it all in, but in, in a really good way. Um, you know, like I, was, I keep going back to it's such a final time. Um, you just connect on such a deeper and stronger level. And a lot of the boys come in, you know, um, they didn't really know much about their, their roots and their Māori culture. And I can definitely tell you that they would walk away from this week uh, fully indulged in, in our beautiful culture. So it's amazing. So, yeah. Tell us where you're from, mate. I know you're from Raglan. Just walk, you just walk us through that a little bit. Yeah, yeah, nah, so I'm a, I'm a Waikato boy, um, yeah, Raglan and um, Whaingaroa out there and then um, got Fano um, <coughs> out and around there and then um, <coughs> I got some family also, like my mum and our dad and my man that live down in Christchurch and uh, we've been down there for, for a few years now and um, yeah, no, it's good down there and obviously it was a pretty big change from from Raglan down to Christchurch, but um, <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty yeah, big change, pretty big change uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, 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 but I loved it, and yeah, and I obviously got got into a bit of rugby down there at, at um, St. Thomas's um, of Canterbury at the first 15 there, and uh, yeah, but I just, once playing league, I sort of just fell in love with it at a young age, and I, I stuck with it all the way through, and I'm very grateful to be where I am today, so yeah. Jordan Ricky is with us on the platform. I just got a text in from a guy called Jake. He says, Martin, I played against Jordan back in high school, first 15. He was a good player back then, played for St. Thomas. So there you go. So why did you switch from rugby to league, and when did you switch? Um, no, so I always played, um, I always played rugby league. Um, I think my, actually my first year, um, I think I was about four years old, I, I was playing um, you know, a bit of ripper rugby, and because I was a pretty big boy, my mum had to take down certificate because a lot of the other um, parents didn't believe the same age as their kids. Right. So um, my Kuro, who was um, just a hardcore league, he um, enrolled me in uh, rugby league uh, then after that and I remember just um, sort of vividly <clears throat> playing my game and, and sort of running off and telling mum that you know I don't want to go back to rugby, I want to play league so played league uh, most of my childhood all the way until I got about to high school and then um, yeah, uh, the first of Dean coach sort of um, come up to me and approach me and asked if I wanted to pull the rugby and I wasn't really keen and, you know, I was just a hardcore leaguey and then he's like, oh, come on, bro, like, you know, what do you got to do? And I was like, yeah, all right. And then once I got in there and realised that some of my mates were in there too, it was, um, that was a really um, good experience for me and um, sometimes I'll play, um, you know, a back-to-back game where I'll play rugby in the morning and then league in the afternoon or I'll you know, play rugby on Saturday and leave on Sunday, and uh, yeah, no, it was good. It was good fit, definitely. So yeah, there's a bloke called Jerry Collins, rest in peace. He used to do the same thing, mate. He play he used to play for the All Blacks in a Test match on the Saturday, and then he'd play under a false name. He'd play rugby league on the Sunday till they caught him, and he just said, "I'm still going to keep doing it. I love playing so much." I mean, so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I've, I've actually heard some stories uh, about that and a few other players as well playing under under false names or wearing um, headgear. Yeah. <laughs> So, so nobody would notice them. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, yeah, 
some good stories, eh? It's, it's, it's always funny to sort of um, look back at those stories and have a laugh, so yeah. Yeah, Jordan, how did we miss you? I'm a Warriors uh, tragic mate. I was a Balmain fan. When, when they merged with um, West Tigers, and I uh, patched over the Warriors. I wasn't, I wasn't into that. How did, how did we miss you? How did the Warriors miss you, mate? Were they ever in touch with you? Yeah. Um, going, coming through, um, I did a couple of, um, you know, little, little uh, like, weekend camps. Um, and then there was a few clubs that, sort of come through down in Christchurch. There was Warriors. I remember I did a Cronulla Sharks one as well. And then, um, you know, Broncos. And, um, I'm not re- too really too sure. I sort of, um, you know, didn't really think I could make um, rugby league a career until I was maybe about 13, 14. And I sort of realised, um, you know, I had a chat with my mum and dad. Like, you know, I, I want to play a rugby league player. I want to play NRL because I used to, you know, watch... Bill and Benji Marshall <clears throat> highlights on YouTube pretty much 24/7. So, um, I you know I really wanted to just give just give it a real good crack. So, uh, I'm, I'm not really too sure what 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 happened there. I was sort of just got offered an awesome opportunity from the Broncos, and uh, you know I, I, they flew me, me and my mum over and showed us around the club, and uh, yeah, it was just a, a, a awesome experience for me at, at the time, and uh, no, so I loved it. So and yeah, now no, I've been there ever since. So yeah. Jordan Ricky is with us. Where are you at? Because I know that there is so much more to come from you, and I know that I'm not the only person that says that to you, and I mean this in the most respectful way, but, you know, to, to whom much is given, much is expected. We we need to see you playing up to the guy that you know that you can be. Yeah, no, nah, definitely. And, um, you know, I know that, and, um, you know, obviously there's things that um, I've dealt with over the last year and a bit um, personally for me, and I'm going to work um, through some of that, and uh, yeah, I know. I know that um, yeah, I can. I can be the best player I can. You know, when I really um, my head down and, and stay away from distractions, and um, you know, generally just be myself and be happy. And, uh, for me, but this week is uh, obviously a huge honour, and um, me returning home and, and around my culture that that makes me me and um, makes me happy. So I know I can play my best when I'm happy, and I'm going to try everything I can uh, this year and uh, for the years to come. So yeah. Look, and, uh, you know, I didn't want to bring it up, but you've just actually, you've just made mention of it. You know, you're a young man. You got you got some money. You get some glory. You get people telling you you're bloody good. You're playing in the NRL. Of course, it can all get to you. You make a couple of mistakes. You've had a couple of incidents and stuff like that. I don't want to talk about that. I want to talk about what you learned from it. What did it tell you as a person to who you want to be, and 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 also how you want to be as a player and and uh, represent that club. Yeah. Um, no, I think you kind of hit the nail there. Where. Um, you know, obviously, I, I did a couple of things where, um, you know, I had to learn very smart. Um, you know, it can all get to you and, and sort of you let it get to you. You know, you can sort of um, slip up. And I, I'm, I'm not saying that what I did was good or bad, I, I'm, but I'm also grateful that, um, you know, what I went through and, and what I did, um, you know, made me learn and made me become a better person. So, uh, yeah, like, like a like um you know just got to surround myself by the people and um you know that mean the most to me and um you know keep it real with me and you know someone from acting like an egg and um you know at least just slapping at the back of the head and saying sure, hey, acting like an egg so uh yeah the new zealand maori all-stars against the indigenous all-stars just explain to us talk us through your iwi and and so forth and hapa and so forth just before we go yeah, kia ora. Uh, my name is Jordan Ricky. Uh, I'm Tainui Wakato and obviously from Raglan Whaingaroa. Uh, my maunga is Kariui, uh, my waka is uh, Tainui and my awa is Waikato as well. So, yeah, I'm a very proud Waikato man and uh, you know, I stand staunch with my, my brothers and sisters there. So, um, yeah, I'm nah, a proud uh, Tainui Waikato man. So, yeah. Man, I love hearing you say that. That must be awesome when you stand up in front of the in front of the whole crew and say that. Man, it must fill you full of pride, yeah? Yeah, no, nah, it's mean. It's a mean feeling, eh? I love it. <laughs> yeah, cool. All right, well, thanks so much for joining us, mate. All the very best. All the very best, not only for this game, but for your future. You've got a hell of a future in front of you. Grab it with both hands, eh? I will do, will do. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Yeah, great talking to you, mate. That's Jordan Ricky with us, Brisbane Bronco.